All right, what's up, guys? Uh, the wipe will be very soon. It's happening on Monday. And because of this, I wanted to make a slightly updated guide for Fighter. This won't be nowhere near as long as my last one. It'll probably be 10 minutes of the absolute max. Uh, because there's some information in my last guide that I think is not as relevant right now. For example, one thing was I talked about using Falchion a lot. Now I'm currently not using Falchion. Uh, obviously it got nerfed, but there's more than just, uh, you know, reason for that. I'm now using the Arming Sword because I think this is the best weapon. And I want to give you guys a bit more in-depth on the, uh, armor side and just, like, gear in general. And, like, your stat distribution. Because I'm also trying out a different build now that I think is much better that I will show you guys in a moment. But, uh, yeah, no, so I just kind of want to give you a pretty solid build you can go for at the start of wipe and one to pivot into later. So, you see here, I mean, perks are still the same. You're obviously, you're still running all the same perks and skills. These aren't relevant. These are fine. Mainly, I just want to talk about the stats and the armor. And as you see here, I have a very high strength build, very high agi, a lot of HP, and then a lot of damage reduction. Because so obviously, with the shield out, this increases even more. Same with my strength. Because there's a lot of strength in this build. So, I think this is the easiest fighter build you can go for right now. I mean, I, I think this is pretty much your best setup, like, in terms of gear. You could run, instead of a fine curious, you could run uh, Dark Plate for the extra MR. As you see, I mean, I have an extra, what, like, I go from negative 7% to 16.8, which is a very big difference. I think Dark Plate is probably your best chess piece. The only downside to it is you lose, you do lose a lot of armor. Like you see here, I'm losing 16 armor just from this alone. And if, obviously, it's better with higher tiers. Like, this one right here is 22 more. But uh, I think Dark Plate's your best chess piece whenever you get a lot of gear. It's not as important now with the really big wizard nerf that came out. So you don't need the magic resistance as bad because wizards are doing much, much less damage. But this right here is basically going to be your best setup for uh, starting build. Because you get a lot of strength and, you know, you get a decent amount of agi. Not bad. Uh, and then, you know, going Arming Sword and uh, Heater Shield, always your best. Uh, in my last video of, of terms of this guide, I talked about two-handed. I'm not going to lie to you. Two-handed's dead as fuck right now because of, like, the damage reduction changes and the plate changes. Two-handed is really bad. It's probably it's it's pretty much unplayable. If you're playing fighter, you pretty much have to play sword and shield now with a crossbow in your offhand. There's really no other way to play it. Like, sure, you can try, but whenever you get to, like, the higher uh, ranks where people have really good gear, it's just... It's a fucking shit show for two-handed fighter. I'm not going to lie. You can't get to anyone... They'll kill you before you make it to them. It's just, it's fucking rough, man. But, uh, yeah. So, the going just completely, like, strength stacking and damage reduction stacking. Obviously, some of this gear is, like, pre-nerf. Like, uh, I think I have. I think this right here is pre- Like, I think these are pre-nerf. And then, I have another piece somewhere. This is pre-nerf. But even after, uh, nerf, fighters still gonna feel pretty good, I think. Honestly, right now, with the healing changes and all the other changes they've made, like, uh weakening the uh magic damage in the game fighter might be the best it's ever been like this class is it's probably not op but it's damn close right now when you're running sword and shield obviously two-handed is like the worst character in the game but uh yeah anyway so this is you know like i said like the strength stacking damage reduction stacking this is the easiest build to go for off the start so if you're like you know when the wipe happens monday this is pretty much the build i'm gonna be going towards whenever i'm playing so you know i it's something i highly recommend and then, once you get some really good gear, and you know you have luxury, I, you're going to do here. I think this is the best build you can switch to, which is a Agi Fighter build. The reason you can't play this off the start, however, is because, you see, I have much lower HP. My damage reduction is about the same, because my gear is all really good. But I have much lower HP, so I am much squishier. However, with all of this Agi, like, I can show you guys. Like you see, here, I have 275 move speed with... Uh, this gear on, let's see what I go to. I go all the way down to 256. So that's like, what? That's like 10% or something? I don't even actually know what they're looking. Oh, whoops, wrong cloak. And yeah, you see, like, it's, it's not 10%. It's, it's a lot, though. It's like 25 move speed. It's a, or it's like 20 move speed. It's a fuckload. And like, sure, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise you, this right here, without the sword and shield out, is, it's, it's faster than most characters in the game. And if you pop sprint on top of that, you're significantly faster. So a build like this gives you a ton of chase down potential. But like I said, you are lacking in HP unless you get some really good gear. Like obviously with the gear I have on, this isn't my normal sword and shield. But whenever I pull out my normal sword and shield and I have like a buff by a bard, my stats go up even more. So I'll get another, I think, four agilities. Let's see. Let's, see. let's put on my best stuff right here, the shield. So with this, I'm, pulling, I'm getting an extra three agility from this. So I'll be 41 agility plus one off from heater. So 27. So with the plus three bard buff, I'll have 30 strength and about 44 agi. 
So, you know, my, my stats will go up. But the thing is, I think this is the best way to play the fighter at the level of having a ton of gear. But the problem is you can only play this when you have a ton of gear because of how hard it is to get, like, the stat requirements. Like, if you see, like, you look at my gear, like, I have some pretty insane fucking gear on right now. Like, you see, like, oh, like these rings, cloak, like, all of this stuff. Like, this is not... This is not early wipe stuff. This is probably isn't even really like first week wipe stuff because some of these like require really high rolls. So generally, I do think it is better to just go with the uh, the strength stacking fighter like I uh, first talked about. You just put you literally just put all strength jewelry on pretty much armor rating, and then even with this, arming sword is still better. I mean, I pretty much don't use falchions at all anymore. They're not the worst after the uh, nerf, but they're pretty bad. And the big downside to them is the fact that whenever, you know, you're doing those horizontal swings, it's really easy to hit people's arms, much harder to hit headshots and body shots. The arming sword does not have that issue. It has just those vertical chops, and it's pretty much guaranteed headshot or body shot at least every single time. Like, it is very hard. And then your crossbow, you really don't need anything else in this slot. You could, you could run a longbow in theory if you want to put weapon mastery on over one of your perks. Like, Barricade, in theory, could come off right now, or even Shield Mastery. These, I mean, I think Shield Mastery, you stay on. But Barricade, the 50 armor rating bonus isn't as big anymore because they changed how armor rating works at the highest levels. So this won't give you as much uh, damage mitigation as it did before. Uh, but yeah, I think Crossbow is just better. If you have a really good Crossbow with really high damage, like uh, one of these right here, like particularly this one, it's very easy to one or two tap a Wizard or a Ranger. If you get a Headshot, it's very likely to one tap most Squishies in the game unless they have a lot of Strength stack, which obviously a Wizard won't do that. A Rogue and a Ranger can. And even a Cleric to some extent. It's very possible to one shot a Cleric as well if you hit a really good Headshot on them with really high damage. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over. Uh, the thing is, like, I mean, it's just, there's not much that's different, but, I mean, I have a, had a lot of people asking me, like, oh, like, do you prefer Arming Sword now? Or, like, is Falchion not good anymore? And so I kind of just want to update this. One of the, honestly, the main thing I just wanted to do is tell you guys that Arming Sword is just much better than Falchion right now. And I wanted to show off this Agile Fighter build that I think is very good. Like, because not many people run this. Not many people recognize the value of Agi on Fighter. Most people are just going your generic strength stacking build. So this is definitely a build you can go for later in the game once you have more gear. And it's obviously, I mean, it seems like, oh, you know, you're losing a lot of tankiness. And you don't realize how crazy this Agi is until you have it. Like, I haven't, I've had this gear set for four days and I haven't died with it yet. It just, it feels insane. You have crazy chase down, you have crazy attack speed. Uh, your, your mobility just in general is really good. It's really hard for people to kill you. And like I said, yes, you are a bit squishier because obviously I'm losing out on a decent bit of HP, like around 15 to 20 HP here. But you're attacking and moving so much faster that generally it won't really matter. And like all those characters you normally can't catch, you uh, because if with your strength stacking build, you, you can. Like rangers, rogues, wizards, they're all much, much easier to run down with this build than the uh, strength stacking one. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, other than that, nothing else has really changed. Um, I mean, you can pretty much just run plate armor still. Yeah, ideally, you just want to get good rolls. Like, these pants, really good. Like, these pants right here are, like, pretty much, like, some of the best rolls you could ever hope for on a plate uh, armor. Like, move speed's really nice, because move speed, in fact, like, it's the same thing as, you know, having agility. Plus one all, which gives you the value of agi and strength. I mean, ideally, you'd want something like this chest piece here, which is giving me three strength and three agi. But like I said, like, just, like, I mean, you can see some of my gear is not, like, super crazy. Like, this helmet, it's pretty good. Like, it's not insane and i mean this pen like most of like my stuff is like like you know like legendary ring epic ring like uh with giving me like so many stats that's why this is a very very hard build to run in terms of gear it's very high demand however i do recommend if you ever get like a really good piece of fighter gear that has agi on it i do recommend like you see like these plate boots for example like these could be blue boots like you could easily get blue boots with agi armor rating or agi damage reduction or something like that so it's it's a doable build, and I do recommend trying it out if you ever get the chance to, because obviously you don't need this amount of stats to run it. This is like, this is a crazy amount that I have right now. Like, you could definitely get less agi here and have more strength, so you can run it at lower gear levels. So this is doable in, like, blues and purples. As you see, I man, I do have a couple blues on, you know, like cloak, uh, pendant, helmet, shield. It is doable with blues and purples, but it is a lot harder. However, I personally... After playing this build for the past few days, 
it is so hard for me to go back to using strength fighter i feel so slow and just it it does not feel it does not feel good this is definitely a build that makes it uh, hard to pivot out of and then i guess some other things that i can throw out there because you know there's obviously was a lot of pa uh, a lot of like changes since my last guide campfires are now very useful you always want to bring at least one of these sometimes two if you have access to them because you know you can just go to the woodsman you know buy a gray one if he has a white one you can buy a white one the best part about a white campfire over a gray one is if you put the white campfire down, you can get your second win back. However, with the gray one, if you put it down, you can't. You have to have your teammate put it down for you while you're already resting. So if, for example, uh, if your teammates die and then you really need to get your second win back and you need to heal, a gray campfire can't do that for you, but a white campfire can. Other than that, nothing else has really changed. Uh, I mean, you pretty much don't use bandages. You can just bring healing potions with you. Uh, blue pots are super expensive now, so they're harder to like you know use easily because like this right here is literally 100 gold with their blue pots. It's only like this is five pots, it's 100 gold worth, and they're also weaker than they were before. So honestly, even after the nerfs, fighter is still a very expensive character to play, and I do think it's kind of hard to get into early. However, it is a very rewarding class once you do because once you get geared at the higher levels, you feel very very unstoppable if you play the class correctly. Like, you can watch some of my other videos, uh, like the one I posted yesterday, I believe, or maybe it was earlier today, I'm not actually sure, because I don't know when I'm uploading this video. I might upload it today, I might upload it tomorrow, who knows. But uh, yeah, once you get geared on Fighter, you feel incredibly tanky, and you do really good damage, too. Like, unironically, even after our class has been nerfed, I think Fighter has been the best spot it's ever been. Like, uh, the healing, because you have still have second win. They didn't touch this, and they nerfed all the healing. So your team's, so you're not as weak to being third party because if you don't have to use it in a fight, you, you do a fight, you still have your second win, another team pushes in, that's 50% of your HP bar, you can heal instantly. And a lot of, well, obviously no other class has that uh, luxury where they can just heal, like, on demand like that. Obviously other than Cleric, but that's a different story. Cleric's heals also got nerfed. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Anything else that I can think of, I will come out with. Uh, or I'll either update this guide or make a new one or you know, so Yeah, and everything the, obviously the only really things I had to update was I wanted to talk about this Agi fighter build And I want to talk about arming sword because that's the only thing that I'm from my old guide That's really irrelevant that and two-handed because two-handed sucks now other than that uh, Slayer build still good. I still highly recommend this for the uh, first for the fresh wipe because it will be happening very soon If you don't know what the Slayer build is just go check the last video. It's I don't have that many It shouldn't be hard to find and this is very, very good for solo or team play on early wipe when no one has gear because it gives me a ton of damage. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about anything in this build or anything I've talked about or haven't talked about, feel free to leave a comment and I will answer it as best that I can. I'm usually pretty good about replying pretty fast if I see it. And other than that, if you want to see fighter gameplay, feel free to watch my Twitch. It is literally my name on YouTube. It's Toddfather TTV. Like, that's the Twitch name. It's not Toddfather on TTV. It's Toddfather TTV because Toddfather was taken. So, yeah, feel free to stop by there. Leave a follow. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, any of that shit you feel like. It's cool. I'm just doing, I'm doing this because I like, you know, I like playing the game and I like showing stuff off. If I can help people in the process, then I'm happy to do that. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.